so welcome friends let us start biology why we study biology first of all why we say biology so now bio means life and logos means study so this was the i think this was the oldest thing in around 2500 bc we first came to know about life classification that was given in our old upanishad that is say chandra yogya upanishad there we have oldest record theek hai they have they have classified the entire life in three parts that was andaj means which are born by egg ja means life birth theek hai which were born from eggs so what we call now is oviparous now see second was jeevaj jeevaj means where life arises from life what we call now is vivipari last was udbhaj matlab vegetative propagated plants theek hai so this was the story this was the story of life first of all first evident we have in our chandra yoga upanishad then came the our jain susruta who first of all classified the life into two part living and non living then he discussed plant and animal that he has written in his susruta samhita samhita now see friends what we have to discuss is so in modern context what we have to discuss in biology so in biology what we do we discuss two things plants and animal theek hai so this was first classified by susruta but ultimately aristotle has classified it as having two base first the organisms which are static and they self make their own food are known as plants theek hai this was first recorded in historia plantarum the first book by our theophrastus hence theophrastus is considered as father of botany so thus the botany science came into picture on the other hand aristotle classified the mobile and heterotrophs in animals he recorded them in his famous treatise historia animal hence he became father of biology father of geology too so this classification of life into two parts was first recorded by aristotle hence he is considered as the father of two kingdom classification old but now father of modern two kingdom is modern two kingdom is our legend linnaeus he is considered as modern father of modern two kingdom classification or what you call modern systematics it linear now see so first degree of father of biology was given to our old legend aristotle next he also became father of geology okay. so now from when biology term came into picture biology term came into picture from 1801 when lamarck and his colleagues described coined the term biology biology means life and logos means the study or discourse so now first of first trick comes here on this anywhere we which if you are giving the suffix of logi means what branch so now let us cram this trick branches of biology will be in your pocket right now morphology means what first of all we fragment it as we do sandeep jet in our hindi similarly what we have to do here we fragment that any term in biology if it is given first of all you fragment it like morphology means the study of external appearance ornitho means what ornithi in amnos it is excreted by birds so and what we call the study of birds is known as ornithology similarly ophio means reptiles so study of reptiles is known as ophiology sauro means lizard so study of lizard is known as saurology now see in coming to our body our body neuro neuro means what nerves so study of nerve neurology similarly hepatology study of liver oology study of egg theek hai nephrology study of kidney and so on so what we have crammed here is 
branches of biology so this generally gives you one question in any pmt which you are writing so what is the general trick for that if anywhere you are having the suffix of logi so dialogy bhaiya it becomes branch of biology agreed so now see, talking to rhinology what it is rhinology is the study of nose how you crack rhino for nose father of rhinoplasty was the susruta who gave this susruta samhita so first rhinoplasty was done by him so rhino bole to na agreed nose so rhinology is study of nose so similarly we have will cram all branches of biology this is very important for pm so general trick will be if anywhere we have logi so logi bhaiya that is branch so this is all for this trick now coming to second thing which oftenly comes in pmt we have to cram a table called as fathers in biology like father of biology was aristotle father of two kingdom old two kingdom classification was again aristotle but father of modern systematics of two kingdom is our callas linear similarly father of botany was theophrastus father of zoology again aristotle so other thing which we have to cramp is father of biology father of different fathers like father of genetic engineering father of this father of, so this should be cramped by an instrument this is a general idea because one question comes even in aims also in gk part they used to ask similarly as they have asked in 2008 father of rhinoplasty he was susruta so you should be familiar with the fathers in biology third thing is books and authors in biology like historia plantarum given by theophrastus historia animalia given by aristotle similarly we have different books origin of species given by darwin origin of life given by operin so like this you have to cram they used to ask now coming to living and non living difference between living and non living so what is what is living and non living difference now coming to the difference between living and non living so first of all we, we are concerned with virus what are viruses they are considered between the living and non living why so because outside the body they are dead but inside our body they are living so this creature has nowadays placed in a cellular organism ठीक है विच आर विच इज ना इधर लिविंग नॉट इट इज हेन्स इट इज कंसिडर्ड कनेक्टिंग लिंक इन बायोलॉजी तो अगेन वन क्वेश्चन ऑफ पी एम पी कम्स टू यू वर्ड इज दैट इज कनेक्टिंग लिंक इन बायोलॉजी लाइक बिटवीन बिटवीन मोलुस्का इकानोडर्मेटा बिटवीन आर्थ्रोपोडा एनी लीडा बिटवीन जिम्नोस फॉर्म एन जियोस फॉर्म लाइक दैट वन टेबल्स वुड बी क्रैम बाई यू एंड दैट इज कनेक्टिंग लिंक इन बायोलॉजी सो दिस विल गिव यू द फोर्थ जनरल क्वेश्चन which used to come in the set of biology now see friends coming to the basic characteristic of living and non living so first of all first and foremost most important character is the reproduction it is the most important difference of life it generally won't have exceptions ncert has written that there is exception and that is mule so but in modern context we we won't place mule in any of the class of life or any species or in any genus it is a special cross made by man hence in in accurate sense we not consider that mule in the case of reproduction now apart from reproduction we have several things like henny liger tigon liger tigon then we have dat dog into cat okay these all we are having so hence until today four most important is reproduction now coming to consciousness this is also considered as the basic characteristic of life but here we have a current exception of coma patient in case of man that patient is alive but it won't respond to any stimuli hence it is also considered as a very important point now other points are respiration movement growth these are general point nothing is special about them now coming to the uh, next father who is carlos linnaeus 